Hello everyone, welcome to Cradle. This is a science fiction pers uh, first person, well, it is a, a straightforward game, a quest, uh, to solve the mystery of uh, what happened to the protagonist, which we play, and now it's gonna go about in, a, in this world. This is a Mongolian-inspired thing, a science fiction game. Uh, look, you can you can already see the Asian-inspired art going on in the background, and it's still in uh, development. This game is still in development. The developer was nice enough to send me a beta key for the demo, and look at that. The game is very very pretty. I I got I I caught high of this game for its art direction. Look at that. Look at that. We're we we're start a game in a in a yurt, something, something like that. A tent, and over there you see a robot. You can see the robot over there. That's the other main character of the game, as far as I'm a, I'm aware. And uh, Tobaha, I got fat, and now I smell bad. Turn off your nose and don't look at me. I didn't say goodbye to Ongots. I waited for him all day, but he didn't return. Please feed him and change him. Change him? Hmm. Lest he gets sick. Follow this recipe. So this is our first quest of the game. I'm not gonna get too far into the game right now. I just want to show you guys how beautiful it is outside and inside and how it plays. And I, this is gonna be episode zero of uh, my let's play of the game. I'm gonna start playing it when it finally, finally releases. Um, so let's look around the tent, shall we? So we get pretty pretty good um, interact uh, interactions with the environment. We can open stuff. We can pick up many items. Um, let's see. So we got some old stuff. New life guidebook. When in normal operating mode, the looks the lock the look screen is tinged with blue. The screen's neuro chip turns red in the event of a malfunction. Green tint indicates that the M body is being controlled by artificial intelligence. Hmm. Two swifts flew over the restricted zone today. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot to explore and a lot to um, to read. This yurt is full of, I don't have the password for that one, is full of stuff. For example, um, over here you got a, a sort of, a, what, a, a poster or something for the M body. I think that's the girl over there. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff to read. Let's check out the robot. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, so. 93, is that your name, 93? Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Seems to be malfunctioning. Oh, I, I, I got her boobs. Wait, wait a minute. Hmm, yep. Well, to access your inventory, you press E and then you use items as such. Oh, I got, no, 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 let me put it back. I don't want to dismantle you right now. Over here, we got some sort of scientific apparatus. No flower in the phytocopier. Phytocopier, hmm, interesting. Graph displaying the effect of product quotient and on consumer consumer demand. Notes added by hand, no thanks, and benevolent heavens. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so as I was saying, this game plays very much like a linear storyline, a quest. It's apparently at least 2076, probably the in the middle of summer. And look at this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, these are the Mongolian hills, or at least this will be the Mongolian hills if if uh, <laughs> if the game were to happen. I I think it's so so pretty, seriously, so pretty. Got a little bit of a river going on in here. Got a little bit of a puddle. Look at the sky. Look at the 
clouds. It's all so beautiful. All so beautiful. And this game caught my eye because I thought this landscape right here, it looks so much like the original Fallout 1 and 2. And at least what I imagined it looked in the wasteland. But I'm not sure this game is post-apocalyptic. I'm pretty sure it's not. Even though we got some pretty weird technology going on. Those things, I think they're rails some sort that uh, you got train carts passing through them somehow. Uh, yeah, but look at the rocks. Look at everything. It is so great. It is so pretty. It is so, so pretty. Yeah, let's go back to the yurt. Let's just show you how this game plays. So basically, as I showed you, I got the inventory right here. I can access seven different items. We can pick up a lot of stuff, although not everything. This thing, I don't know what it is for. I can't use it right now. So we got a few things back here, but I don't, I'm not gonna use that. Let's go, let's go and check this thing. So, uh, I need to heat the red pot. I need to find the red pot. I got a lighter over here. Press E to put it in, in my inventory. This is my cooker. Let's put some paper in there. And some firewood. No, no, don't drop the firewood. Just there we go. Some bit, bit more. There we go. And let's light it. There we go. See? Easy. Put st stuff back. It's a bit weird as of right now. Oh, I can't. There we go. There you go. Just climb on top of the table. And there you go. Look at that. Okay, we got our little kitchen or kitchen section of the yurt. This is the glass that I'm gonna need to pick up. Let me put it down. Okay. Open the tap. Let's fill it. And oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, I need the red pot first. Where the hell is it? There it is. Put the red pot in there. Pick up the glass of water that magically didn't drop a single drop. And there you go. Let's just... There we go. Close the, the tap. Just because you don't want to waste water. Now, what else do I need? I need to add a few cut plum olives fruit. There are plenty of them by the lake. Mm, I need to go outside again. Okay, I'm perfectly fine with that. Perfectly fine with that. We need to go down there. Hmm. Yep, let's go down there. Anyway, as I said, this is episode zero. I'm really not gonna play this game for at least a month because uh, it, it comes out on the 25th of July. Oh, by the way, let me just spring back to the earth. Is that date 24th of July, 25th of July, Saturday, 2076. That's not really the release date of the game. It's 25th of July, 2015. Uh, and I don't, know, I don't know if it's a Friday, probably a Friday. No, I don't know if it's a Saturday, probably a Friday. But anyway, that's when the game releases. Check down the description below for information on the game. Got every every link you're going to need. And uh, it's, it's going to be available on Steam for purchase, and I hope I'm gonna enjoy it. But until then, I'll see you in some other video. Bye-bye.